What's up guys, it's Ono Tech here, and today I'm going to give you guys my reasons why building a PC is better than buying a PC. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and sit back and relax. The first real benefit for building a computer over buying a computer is that you get a lot better price performance ratio. When you compare a pre-built computer to one that's custom for the same price, your price performance ratio is going to differ a lot. The custom one will probably be better in performance 99% of the time. And well, why is that? Well, if you look at this logically, you have to think about companies such as iBuyPower and Alienware, and those typically need to make a profit. So money is automatically added to the pre-built computer on hand by default. Uh, also, once you calculate stuff like shipping and warranties and using uh, products commercially such as Intel and AMD, they need to get a profit share as well, then the prices can potentially double um, relative to the custom built computer. So in effect, you're really not getting what you paid for when you buy a pre-built computer. Now, there are some places where a pre-built computer would be better, and that's really the sub $350 uh, price point. Under this price point, you usually won't be buying a gaming PC or building a gaming PC. You would probably use the computer for web surfing and or uh, word processing or just for flash games. And honestly, buying a computer under that price point would probably benefit you more than building one because building is usually for people who have budgets that are around 400, 450 or over. And if all you're doing is using it for school, then you can buy a used computer for good performance and for a cheap price. The next real reason why you should build a PC instead of buy one is the fact that you get to know your components a little bit more. And I really want you guys to think about this one for a minute. When you build a PC, you really know every single part that you put in that case and the case itself, but it's not always the case for buying a PC. With the PC, if you build it yourself, you can change the parts to your liking. Maybe you want an 8-core CPU and a fast graphics card for high-end gaming, or maybe because you're on a budget, you're just going to go for a fast SSD and a medium-sized GPU. But when you look at retail, retail computers, you can't really do that. What you see is what you get, and most of the time, you have a lot of limits. Now, there are some sites that actually let you change the components, but that's still limited. You can only change components that are compatible, and it costs more. So price is also a factor with this point. Thirdly, upgrades are a lot less tedious on a custom-built PC than a retail one. And I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, retail stores sort of try to trick the buyer into buying their PC by portraying a really strong uh, CPU, some really strong RAM, and a really good hard drive. And I think that's pretty crazy because that's only some of the parts of the PC that are extremely important. Most of the time, they have really bad motherboards and pretty bad power supplies. And when the motherboard is the brain of the computer and the power supply powers that brain, I think it's pretty fair to believe that those are important parts of the system. Because of this, upgrades are a lot more tedious and you usually have to upgrade other parts just have the initial upgrade upgradable, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But with custom built PCs, that's usually not the case. Most of the time, you buy reliable brands and you buy reliable parts that are mostly compatible and that will last you a long time. So upgrades are usually not that bad. And they can be fun because they potentially help the computer. The last reason why you should build and not buy is because you get a sense of glory and pride once it's built. And call me crazy, but I hope I'm not the only one that actually feels this. Most people think that building a PC is hard, but it really isn't. In a simple way of putting it, it's basically putting puzzle pieces together. But regardless, it can seem a bit challenging and hard and intimidating for the first time user. But all in all, after you build it, you get this awesome sense of awesomeness and pride and glory and you just want to like scream to the whole world that you built a computer. And honestly, you build a bond with the computer that you built. Now, I'm not saying that buying a PC will make you angry or sad or anything like that, but you don't get that awesome feeling after you actually build something for your own. It's sort of like the PC is your prize 
after painstakingly putting it together for two hours for your very first time, and it's an awesome prize in fact. Other than that, building a PC is an awesome learning experience that you can really apply to your life. So guys, I hope you really found this video helpful, and if you did, leave your thoughts in the comments below. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff and jazz. Um, I had a lot of questions over this subject, and I thought instead of answering them separately in the comments, I should just make a video about it. So my answer would be, I would build instead of buy, but buying is also an option if you're on a really tight budget, or you're a student that just needs a computer for work, or flash games online. As always guys, peace and have a good one.